Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's, Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Private life. Dude, into, I just fucking dumped Patreon. half of my monster and my half of my Coke Zero. That's terrible. How's that terrible? How does that taste? Like water down Coke Zero? Don't do that. Don't you know, do it. You know what I was gonna say? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm at a dilemma. So, um, I have that assistant touch the little ghost uh -huh. around my phone screen. I can't find it. Maybe take your fucking sunglasses off. We're inside. No, no, no. This has been, this has been an issue with me, for the past two weeks. Like I have not been able to find it. But it's there. It's it's here somewhere. Let me see. I just poke around. Eventually, I'll find it. You know, typically it's on the upper right hand side. Cool. Let me see. I found it. Oh, it's right there, dude. Yeah, <laughs> it's right there. But you know what, dude? I'm fucking 24 years old. Wow, my fucking <laughs> posture is terrible. <laughs> I'm 24 years old, I'm a young man, but that shit has me feeling like a fucking senior citizen. <laughs> Literally. What, that's been, like I said, it's been happening for the past two weeks. Uh -huh. Fuck. It's been happening for the past two weeks. <laughs> and uh, it literally makes me feel old as fuck. But I'm not. You, you, bro, you, you have head damage, head trauma. Yeah. At a young age of 23. CT. And uh, you, your contacts are always getting shit stuck in them because someone doesn't wear the PPE. <laughs> today was... Today was... It was a bad day. It was a, it was a day. It was a bad day to be an eyeball. Have you seen that guy? Bad day to be an eyeball, he Have said. Have you seen that guy? No. David, uh, David, David Clark? Davis Clark, something like that? No, I never seen I posted him. it on one of our, our things recently. He was like, I just ran the Boston Marathon. I shit myself so bad. What does he do? He, he's like a... Some sort of like... Stock trader by day, but social media influencer by by day as well. <laughs> he uh, he's just super 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 positive, and and all the comments say like he's like, I'm going on a walk today. I turned into a run. He's like it's a good day to be alive. Peace, y'all. Shit like that, and then everyone comment it's a bad day to be a sidewalk. <laughs> it's a it's a bad day to be a fucking uh, whatever. Like whatever he's talking about, they'll say it's a bad day to be that because he's fucking killing it. Everything about him is him destroying it, absolutely just smashing it as hard as he can, just full go. So he did the Boston Marathon so hard that he shit himself, blood too. The Boston Marathon, that's that's some David Goggins type shit, right yes, there. Yes, bro. I posted it on Instagram. That's some David Goggins type shit. I, I did post it on our Instagram, cause uh, he's he's awesome. Pure motivation. That's all he is. All about the boys. Pure motivation. Pure sports guy too. Never heard of this guy. Mm -hmm. This was on Instagram. Yes, sir. Hmm. You're gonna have to look him up after this. I swear to God. I'm gonna have to look him up after this. But he's very like uh, I don't know how to describe it. He uh, he doesn't have like emotion when he talks. He's monotone. That's the word for it. Monotone. Hey, what's up, guys? Just got out of uh, just got out of work. Going on a ten mile run. Gonna kill it as always. Yep, that's it. Leaves. Comes back, guys. I just fucking killed that run. I I killed it, and everyone's like, "It's a bad day to be a sidewalk." Shit like that. He's he's awesome. Bad motherfucking day to be a sidewalk. Bad yeah. motherfucking day to be his running shoes. Oh man, I saw this video recently, and then you know it's like oh sending hate from Australia or something like that. Have you seen those? Yes, yes, yes. Someone literally put like every country in the world with the flag next to it. It was terrible. Dude, have you seen the <laughs> portals? Yes, that's hilarious. The Irish portal. That that. They shut down, unfortunately. I thought it was a great idea. They couldn't have put it in two worst places. I thought it was a great idea. Dublin, Ireland, where there's a shit ton of drunks, and then you got New York City. You couldn't have put it in any worst two places in the world. But here's the thing, brother. Here's the thing. <laughs> you know what? The world was a better place when we had the toxic Modern Warfare 2 chats. And I think yeah. that is in some way, shape, or form related to... to to that. The portal? Yeah. 
I think, people are showing their titties in chat? I think, no, well, that's the toxic chat right there. Uh-huh. You know, because they were showing the 9 11 and all that fucking oh shit. You know God. what I mean? It's like, we got to do it right back to them. Let's just so have that. Ireland was showing us 9 11. Yeah, they that's were, fucking hilarious. They were showing videos of 9 11 and all that shit. <laughs> You know, oh at first I saw I saw one of them said R.I.P. Pop Smoke or something like that. You uh-huh. know, and then after that it was the 9/11 towers. But I think we just got to do it right back. You know, that's what and I think. That's what we've been doing. It just just do it out of a uh, hey man. But they gave them a gift of art. They they graced them with some boobies. At least <laughs> at least do the same. See, you gotta think about all the kids that are out there watching that too. You're right. Oh, you're totally right. Like, she could probably go to jail. Oh. If someone, like, was, like... I'm not saying me, but I'm saying, like... If someone was, like, yo, my kid was right there, they just saw your fucking tits. See? And that's a great... And imagine getting sued from across the world, too. That's insane. (laughs) (laughs) They showed her titties. Hey, they're getting out of the potato famine for surely (laughs) if they sue that bitch. (laughs) They'll just just go to England. You know? Yeah, we can finally go to England. Like, you know, like an actual place to live. But... If they put those portals, little mini portals, kind of like virtual glory holes in a way, <laughs> and put them in bars, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, and they have like a fake pussy in there? So, so that way it's 21 plus, you know what you're getting yourself into, you know? But put that in the back room. That's kind of like some VR shit. Virtual glory hole. Trademark. Would you ever, would you ever do a virtual reality porn? Would you ever watch that? Virtual reality porn. Like have the headset on and everything, like with, like a, with a fake sex doll? Mm, I don't know. No, I don't think so. No? Not at this moment in my life. Put me through the slot hatch. <laughs> <laughs> you no, no, oh no. my god! No, no, oh, no. But, I put a thought in his mind. No, not at this not at this point in my life. I wouldn't no. well, At what point in your life? When you're in your midlife crisis or earlier in your life? Earlier in my life, maybe would have changed the trajectory of my life. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Virtual reality porn would change your trajectory. <laughs> hey, you never know if you hit, more than likely, I feel like if you got that you shit see at like years like, old. <laughs> dude, who the fuck would I be right now? I'd be a, I'd be a fucking sex crazed little maniac. A little fucker. I had something that, that could have like changed uh changed my life. To my soul. Oh, one hundred percent. I, uh, well, that's as real as it gets. I mean, Virtual we were, reality. That's the reality of it. <laughs> we, we were talking outside, and I told you I had an out-of-body experience. Oh, you're talking about that. Uh, this really changed my life. So, last night, um, wasn't feeling too good. And then, uh, finally got to bed. And, like, within seconds, as soon as I went to bed, boom! You know, like, uh, you know, like Doctor Strange when the bald lady, like, pushes him out of his body? Do you know that? No. I was like... Astral projecting out of my body. You know what that is? Oh, yes, 100%. I saw my body there, and I couldn't see who was talking, but someone was talking. And they were like, do you want to keep doing this to yourself every day? Like, do you really want to keep doing this to yourself every day? So, at this point... It's talking about what had happened earlier in the day, and we're not going to share that on the pod for my sake. But I was just going through some shit, you know? But at this point, were you, like, actually Above seeing myself, yourself? Yeah, really? in bed. That's kind of scary. And what's scary is that I fell asleep face down in the pillow, like, with my head just barely turned to the side. Like, it was like that. And I was laid out like this, and I woke up like that. I was, <gasps> woke up. We'll get to there. So, he was like, I want to show you. Like, and I don't know who it was. I had no idea. Um, I would like to think it's Keanu Reeves, because that'd be sick. He had, like, a deep voice. Okay. okay. I think that'd be sick. So, that's that's your guess right there? That's yeah. Keanu Reeves? Uh-huh. But uh, um, how I thought of it was like an Ebenezer Scrooge type type shit. Who's that? Ebenezer Scrooge were uh, he's like a piece of shit old man and like hates Christmas and shit. And then the ghost of the ghost of the past comes to see him. The ghost of the present sees him. Then the ghost of the future sees him. Uh-huh. And it kind of, they kind of show him his whole life. Okay. And he has like an awakening. This is exactly what happened to me. But not my only my present and my future got shown. Not my past. And. Like I said, I just like literally was in bed, w- literally one second, whoosh, out of my body. And then, cause I was fucking sad and shit in my bed. And he was like, do you want to do this every day? Is this what you want to keep doing with your life? Or do you want to see like what your future could be? Uh-huh. And I was like, yeah, I want to see what the future could be. And then it like, there was like a scene in Assassin's Creed. One of the early ones you're flying as an eagle through the forest. It was kind of like that, but like real fast, like 
light speed type shit through a forest and then boom we're there and I'm like in my 40s or something I'm older and I'm with my girl and we have three kids all girls and he's like this is what it could be this is this is your life and we're like somewhere with pine trees in a house on a wood deck kind of remind me of like Arrowhead type house like Lake Arrowhead or something like, a, like that like a cabin type of thing cabin type of thing and he's like this this could be your life right here and it was just me and her just sitting there with wine and the kids are just playing right there on the, on the deck and there's a little fire and it's like almost sunset it's like kind of like now time-ish and the sun's like setting and me and her are just happy and he was like this could be you but you keep doing what you're doing it's not gonna happen and he was like this could be you and it was like hours of like us just like I was getting fucking drilled I was getting penetrated and then uh he brought me back to my body and I just woke up and it was like 523 and I was like holy shit I was like what the fuck I didn't go back to sleep after that I was tired as fuck but I felt like I didn't sleep at all it was just weird because you were just traveling the whole time I was literally like awake because you were traveling the whole time but and, and I remember everything like it w- very detailed very it was so odd and I couldn't tell if it was a dream or if it was real but it felt real everything felt real and now that goes back to you I remember you were saying that you do a lot of overthinking right yeah that's something that you've been overthinking a lot yeah I know so I feel like my subconscious yeah. mind was overthinking again so even when I was asleep I was overthinking damn dude you know what that that I've never I don't think I've ever that's ever that was really my first happened time it ever right? happened like that you never heard of the Ebenezer Scrooge no I've never heard of that is that kind of like the the same same dude that um, what was it the uh, the Grinch the no that duck the 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 duck Donald Duck no not Donald Duck Daff not fucking Daffy Duck <laughs> Donald Duck which one's the Mickey Mouse one Donald Duck Donald Duck it is yes but, yes he but it was his kids that did it past present and future it was like their play on it yeah I've seen that before so that's what that was never knew his name. It just, just showed him everything. I just and thought it was, it was a greedy old man. It just felt so real. And, like, that experience in Ebenezer Scrooge, that's, like, the original story, it, like, really changed him. He was a, just a piece of shit human. And after that, he became, like, such a kind person. And I'm not saying I'm becoming a kind person. I'm saying that I had, like, an awakening and I just, like, got to it. But you think those types of things, like, can happen for everyone? Totally. But no. I just think it doesn't happen for everybody. I think it could happen for everybody. Cause like I don't think I've ever, I've ever had that before. So uh-huh. you would you say that's like a, you gotta have a specific trait within your DNA or whatever to experience something like that. No, I just feel like it was like a lucid dream, but like that's what people could say. Like that's people listening and say, oh, that's just a lucid dream. A lucid dream, huh? But I feel like it. I've had lucid dreams before. Yeah, this felt so. And from what I've real. heard about lucid dreams is that. You literally guide that dream. I didn't guide shit. You know what I mean? So it's like... I didn't guide nothing. But then again, I've never experienced one myself. So who, who am I to say? But also... I don't know. I was going to say, we're making this shit up too. Like this... I mean, we're not making up these dreams, right? But... Uh, it's like... Yeah, I know. Lucid dreaming. How do they even know that's what that is? Exactly. I think it's just a term that came... I don't know. I, I think it was a legit astral projection. And it showed me what could be. Because I feel like our, our, our brains are just so like sporadic and crazy. You don't know what's weird, though? It was three new daughters. It wasn't the... Not not including the one I have now. Three new daughters. So yeah. four total? Four total. And she was in college in Wisconsin. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like dude. you know, like the red Wisconsin. Banging, you're banging this freaking, you're banging this detail on me now. Yeah. Why well, wasn't this here in the story earlier? I totally just it went boom right over. I have text to prove that I talked about it earlier as well. That's some. So that's a fat old detail right there. It was so weird. Wisconsin. She's gonna be a badger, baby. Oh, that's what they are, honey badgers. She's gonna be a badger. Yeah, with the with the red writing. That's sick. It, it was so weird. That's crazy. You're driving a yellow Porsche or what? I I don't know. That's the first thing that came to mind. You were driving an old you yellow Porsche. You know what's weird? Is that, like, my dream car is a Porsche. Not yellow, but that was weird. No, like a little, you know those old Boxsters? Yeah, like 911. Like those older looking ones, uh-huh. though. You know? I, I, I see, yeah, I I see I you like in, that, in that dream. I do. 
I, I don't remember driving a Porsche, and I don't remember any cars. I just remember the house and there, and I was getting scolded. Your house is olive green. Okay. It's more dark. Your house is olive green, if not cabin-esque. It was cabin-esque, but dark. You know? Dark color. Yeah, but I feel like that 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 dark olive green-ish uh-huh. gives it kind of an earthy, foresty vibe. Yeah, totally. You no, know? I'm, I'm, I'm adding to your dream here. Okay. You know? I'm putting myself in it. It, it was it was a dark it was a darker color like a like a dark grayish color with a with a reddish kind of I don't know what kind of wood is it gives like a reddish kind of tint to it huh. but it, like it was kind of like this color right here but a little more bright the the whole deck outside very detailed it was very detailed it, that's why I think it was legit an astral projection because it was scary and I just Snap and, back. And we tend to have the our most dreams in our most comfortable spots, right? T- typically? Yeah, okay. I don't know. That's what I would think. It, but I dream the most in my car when I take my naps. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know? I mean, although it might not be the most comfortable physically, uh-huh. I feel like there's something within my mind that is comforted about it. I don't know. I think I told you before it was like the dopamine. Is that That's what causes the dreams? I don't know. Is, it, is that what that is? I think so. Like, whatever chemical causes the dreams, something about you and your car in that specific spot, just really just reeling it in, and then you, boom, dream. It's like my, my brain is like, I like it, I like it, I like it. Come on, keep it coming. What's you, know? okay, you want to know what's more weird? Is that, like, sometimes when I do dream, cause sometimes I feel like close my eyes, wake up, that's it. Sometimes. And then there's nights where I'll dream for hours, like, Fuck, this dream's weird. And then you wake up at the perfect time. It, my dreams always end like that. Right before my alarm. Like, one minute before my alarm, I'll wake up. Uh-huh. <gasps> scared. You wake up real suddenly like that? Yeah. Scared? Sometimes. More like a shock. Not like scared. I'm like, <clears throat> whoa. What the fuck was that? Uh-huh. You know? I remember my first wet dream I had. That See, was hilarious. I, I never had that either. That I was hilarious. Had that I tried going back to bed so fast. Go back to bed. Go back to bed. Please. Maybe I'm, late, maybe I'm a late bloomer. Or at least I don't remember it. Yeah. I've never had that. Yeah, I remember. I was like, please go back to sleep. Please go back to sleep. <laughs> Couldn't. And Impossible. Is that achievable? Do you think you can Wet start dreams? at your last checkpoint? Fuck no. Doesn't happen. Didn't do you think work. there's something you could do? Shamalama ding dong type shit? To where like... There are like professional dreamers. Have you seen those? <laughs> Is that real? They, they wake up. I don't know how they do it. They test them. They wake up, write in their journal, go back to sleep. Because they're trying to see what the dream, like, what dreams mean. They're literally trying to mm. figure out what dreams mean. So, like, they'll be asleep. They'll wake up in the middle of a dream, write down what just happened, and go right back to sleep. I don't know if they have the same dreams, but I think that's so weird that they can just wake up in a dream. They just manipulated their body so much. To know when to wake up. To They have the kill switch in the palm of their hand. It's so weird to That's me. crazy. That's yeah. crazy. But that's some David Blaine type shit, I think. <laughs> You know what I mean? That motherfucker's scary. Oh, surely. Oh, that motherfucker's scary. That's that's some crazy shit. Fuck yeah. How does he do that? Magic. Some, is it... <laughs> do you think it has something to do with magic at all? Or is no. that just straight raw talent, dedication? Raw talent, dedication. Magic's no. not real. It's what you make of it. Because he is an extremely hard worker. You know what Bro, I mean? like, when he was, like, in the underwater for that whole time, he was like, oh, yeah, I was legit underwater. I could have died. But he did it. Right, right. Speaking of being underwater, there's this guy who wanted to see what... You know, like, when you're in space and it affects your body? That's why they always have to constantly be working out, like, riding the treadmill and shit? Oh, yes, correct. So he wanted to see what it would be like if he lived underwater. So they put him in a submarine, and he was under there for 100 days. And they tested his cells before and after. His stem cells, like, quadrupled underwater. And they said, like, his cells are so healthy that his cells are, like, if they were 10 years younger. A hundred days underwater. And he, like, gained 10 years back of his life. That's how healthy his cells were after. You know what? What I just so thought? crazy? You know what I just thought? Aquaman? So, everything we have above ground, everything we make is toxic. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So, the... The secret to life, the secret to longevity, is the natural earth, which is 
in the water, which we are starting to creep into with all the reefs and shit yeah. going fucking extinct or whatever they call it. Um, but we're losing that. Pollution, baby. Pollution, baby. Oh, my God. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> we're losing the reefs and all that shit, and that's the last little bit, or yeah. that we know of at least, that contains the longevity or the secret to life. Like, dude, even most of the oxygen we get on Earth comes from the ocean because of all the algae and shit. Uh-huh. There's so much algae that produces oxygen that that's where we're getting it from. Not just trees and shit. So you're telling me I can repair my knee? Make it 100% again? Underwater? Send me down in yes. that fucking yes, submarine. Sir. Yes. I'm confirming that right now. Pump me with your underwater stem cells, baby. Let's fucking go. <laughs> if that will get my knee to feel 100% again, I am down with it. Because my knee's been bugging. I, you think you had to take it easy on the motion for a little bit? No, I, th- I, think, I, the, I think it's I, more the working. I think it's more the working. I think you went to shows like for th- three or four weeks in a row. I don't think it's that. You went to the Rapid Fest, Mosh for Youth. Yeah, I there did. was another one in between there. I don't think it's that. I wasn't. I don't think it's that. You were moshing harder as fucking Rapid Fest and Mosh for Youth. Nah, man, there have been a little some a couple situations at work. Ah, oh, fuck, you know, felt a little funny. No pain, no gain, uh-huh. but um, just felt a little funny. It just got my attention. Like when I fell at work the other day, that shit was like, oh fuck, and that shit hurted. Oh, I do. And yeah. it was embarrassing. I totally feel it. And totally feel embarrassing. It. I had another thing happen at work recently. I'm totally gonna talk about it because I don't care. <laughs> what happened at work? So, uh, every Thursday they have a like all the leads have a meeting with HR, and usually it's about nothing. And they did get mad at me because I I, I usually go on my phone because for one they're talking all Spanish. And two, she doesn't think I know what they're saying. So when they asked me, oh, this is fucking funny. Go back like two weeks. <laughs> I'm sorry. They were talking in Spanish, and this was like with all the supervisors too this time. And they were saying, oh, they fired this person, and then this person's going to be a lead of this department now since they fired this other person. And they're like, okay, now I'm going to do it in English for Dylan. I was like, no, I understood what they said. And then uh, she's like, okay, what did I say? And I was like, oh, you said you fired her. And then she's like, oh, don't say that. Don't say that. It's so rude. She's like, their assignment ended. And I was like, come on, dog. You oh, is that her. what they're doing now? Yeah. I was, like, I was like, you fired her. They're softening the blow. But anyways, fast forward now. We're at this meeting. And this is the third time that they've talked about this. Respect. How you're supposed to respect your employees and your colleagues and shit. Because they've had a, yet another complaint that they're treating them bad. The leads. Which I totally fucking agree. They're all terrible people. Like, terrible. And then they were complaining, oh, yeah, they never listen to us. And they're like, it's hard because, like, they don't want to do, they don't want to work and this, this, and that. And they just kept complaining and complaining and complaining for over an hour. And that meeting's supposed to be 10 minutes. And then she's like, you have anything to say? And I was like, no, nah, my people listen to me. She was like, oh, good. And I was like, yeah. And then they left. And then I went to HR after. And I was like, I need to talk to you. And I closed the door. I closed the door and I told her everything. I laid it down for her. I said, I don't gossip at work. I don't do cheese me tape shit. I'm trying to tell you the truth right now. I go, and if they need material, I'll deliver it, and they'll literally tell me, oh, I effing hate her. They're talking about their lead. Mm. They say that about, like, there's like five departments I go to. Four out of the five, their people hate them. Literally. And I told her, I was like, why do you think they say that? I was like, do you think that's respect? Because the, the leads are making it sound like they are respectful, they are doing a good job. But their people just don't listen because they're bad workers. And that's not true. Not 100% true, I would say. And I was like, do you think if they were respected that their people would be saying that about them? And she was like, oh, okay. Well, she's like, hold on. She got to know, Patch, I don't want to pick your brain. She was like asking me examples and shit. And I told her, I was like, this lady. Okay, this guy used to work there. And you know about it. He literally said, I hate her. I can't work here anymore. I got to switch departments. She's like, yeah. And then I was like, then she yelled at my person twice. And you guys did nothing about it in front of people. Nothing about it. I was like, why does it get to that point? And then they said, and then another one. This is a true story. A person didn't want to fight her at work to get fired. She followed her home. A person didn't want to fight her? At work because you'll get fired. She fucking followed her home. I was like, how bad do you treat somebody at work? where they follow you fucking home to beat your ass and I was like you're trying to tell me that they have respect that's not respect at all you're doing something wrong you know thoughts on that 
And that's all. That's all. A lot of those leads are, and they were talking. They were talking big game about their ass. So especially this, the, especially this person that followed them home, right? Is it? Uh, Was a female? Female on female violence? No, but is this is this something that has happened to the same person? All these situations, or is this all different people? All those examples I just gave you is one person. One person. And those are just recent examples. This is not like past examples. So then, if it's just that one person. I mean, I'm not trying to discredit that person or whatever, uh-huh. but you think it may be like, is that person crazy at all? Like that type of, give off that type of confrontational so vibe the, and shit? The, the vibes that I get off of them, and I'm, bring, I'm mixing 90% of the leads. There's four of them. They're all female. They think like they own the place. The leads. The leads. They, they think that they own me, you know? And there'll be times like we'll have meetings and shit and they'll like say shit to me or like about me when I'm in there. And I just, I just say, I look at their boss and I say, how could you let them talk to me like that in front of everybody? They're like, oh, all the time. I've said it so many times. There's no respect. No respect. They think they just own everything and they could say whatever they want. And I was kind of sick of it. So I fucking brought it up. That's a toxic workplace. Super right there. toxic. Not to me, to their employees. And that's why their employees say, I fucking hate you. Where my employees, like, th- fucking throw me parties and shit. Because I treat them nice. And they were saying, yeah, I asked somebody to do something, they don't do it. And then if I say, like, hey, bro, I need you to go do this real quick. Yes, sir. That's it. That's it. And they get it done. And they come back. What else do you need? That's it. Super easy. Just treat them at, with actual respect, not what you think of respect. Yeah. So we've come up with, like, she's like, yeah, I think I have, like, a training in mind to really show them because they's like, oh, here's the list. This is how you should talk to people. That's not training. Let's give them a fucking piece of paper. They probably throw it away right, right after the meeting. Yeah. Literally. So you actually need to sit down with these people and, like, sh- fucking tell them, like, this is how you lead. This is how you treat people with respect. Yeah, for real. I'm going to bullshit for real. And you know what? It was crazy. Bless your soul because now, because of you, there's going to be a like three hour presentation to where we all you all have to attend good and you know what I'll take the time off work it's like the safety meetings um, you're awesome. paid for it love the safety meetings paid for it <laughs> paid for it <laughs> no but it's like how could they sit there and just like blame their workers you know and they see no fault in themselves but your workers are saying I effing hate you behind your back it's something's not right yeah, no. Yeah, that's not respect at all. That's the, that's the totally the best thing I feel to like do. they're demanding respect. Especially since we've spent so much time at work, dude. Exactly. We don't want to We don't want to do that to practically our second home. You know what I mean? No way. Like, do you think anyone hates you? N- no, no. Oh, you guys no. saw that? He said, uh, no, no, no. Like, honestly, I don't think I got no haters. I got no ops. I got no fucking beefs, nothing like that. You know what I mean? That's how it should be. It's peaceful that way. Totally. I'm nice to everyone. I say hello to everybody. Life's easier that way. So much easier. It's too much bullshit to deal with. Too much bullshit to deal with to have that on top of it. So, like... I don't like the cherries on my fucking milkshakes anyways. You ever talk shit about a boss? Uh, I mean, not necessarily talk shit, but have I have like nitpicked to the way they do things. Okay. You know? You ever been like I fucking hate them? What what would what would mm. it like this is an everyday thing that I hear. Mm-hmm. I take material to the like one of the workers, oh I fucking hate her. Fucking hate her. Like what would it what would someone have to do to make you get to that fucking point? I don't know. I feel like if it's if it's if it's at work if there was something I don't even think I would let it get to that point Uh because if it was something that was clearly uh, something that was bothering me I feel like I would have addressed it a lot earlier you know what I mean yeah totally especially if I'm there all the time should I even be talking about this shit confidential I don't give a fuck it's not confidential did you make you sign an NDA no Universal Studios made me sign one yeah I know you want to talk about it now? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I probably can. Uh, it's already too late. It's too late. But, uh... They're listening, bro. You gotta be careful. <laughs> I don't want to work there anyways. Um, I think you can go to jail. You signed something. Hey, did you see that video of Diddy, uh... Yes. Taking everybody's phone before one of his infamous yacht parties? Oh, I did not. 
Yeah. So he was literally like, there, there was a line of people waiting to get on his yacht. Uh-huh. And homies coming around with a tote bag. Give me your phone. Phones, phones. Everybody's dumping them in the bags. How do you know if it's, the, if it's your phone? You know, someone just, oh, that's mm-hmm. my phone. Take it. I don't know, man. I don't know. And, you know. Um, well, we're not going to no p- pedal fucking parties or no shit like that. That's crazy, huh? <clears throat> I said, we're not ones to go to a fucking pedal party. Fucking Diddy. Like those pieces of shit. Fucking Diddy. What's that whole thing going around right now? That, that. No Diddy. No Diddy. What is it? His son dropped a fucking... Uh, his son? Yeah, his son. Uh-huh. His son dropped like a uh, statement with a rap song. Stop talking about my father. He's not He's not gay. I didn't hear it all the way. It didn't sound too bad, actually. The, like, I heard like maybe, what, 25, 30 my seconds? My dad doesn't fuck people in the ass. Quit saying that no Diddy shit. I don't fucking remember <laughs> it. I don't know. It didn't sound too bad. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to go back and check it out again, but... Duh. Hey, you, you, you proved me wrong, brother. With that Drake shit, yeah. brother. Brother, you proved yeah, me I don't, wrong. I don't, I don't know what... But if you saw if you saw something different... I swear... So... If you saw something different, I'm not going to deny what you see. I'm only seeing what the media puts out. Yes, And yes, you know yes. what they put out could be false. Oh, okay. So what I saw was... Nuff said. And it showed the song... Of Kendrick, and it said produced, written by Kendrick. Okay. Okay. Then the next one showed the song. Then it showed written by four people, including Aubrey Graham. But how about you yourself? Did you yourself go to Spotify? Yes, and I did look, and it does say that. So in my head, I'm wondering if Drake said, hey, change it, change it. Because I saw a screenshot, but now I don't know if it's true or not. And see, this would be something to... It would have been better to obviously document earlier with the within the beef before it started getting all that buzz but and i looked at his other songs and it has a bunch of writer on it so you know so so what? you have to prove me wrong your side was totally right though you said it doesn't matter it was on the song in this beef it was about the beef song totally agree he, if if it says it wrote it himself or he wrote it himself more power to him brother despite his musical history yes sir ah yes i get you now because the one word actually fucking matters he did it himself. Yeah. Quote, unquote. And I, I'll trust it. And honestly, I thought it was pretty good, too. <laughs> I didn't listen to it. I thought it, it sounded pretty sick. I don't like his voice. No. So but the, I can only get so much in, you know what I'm saying? But the Kendrick no, one? No, did he? The Kendrick one took him out. Think so? 100%. But I think that's long gone at this point. I hear that real mm-hmm. rap fans say Kendrick one. Dude, I've been seeing L.A. go crazy with that song. Where's he from? Chirac? Kendrick? Yeah. He's from L.A. Really? Yeah. Okay. 100%. I don't know. He's from L.A. And, dude, that, like, all over Twitter, all that shit, you see L.A. going popping with these parties, playing that song all the time. I'm hearing it everywhere. I don't even know what song you're talking about. I stayed, I steered so far left of this beef, I don't even know the sound of it. I believe it's Not Like Us, is what it's called. Oh, where he sings kind of weird? His voice sounds weird in it? I don't quite remember. I hate the way that you talk, the way that you walk. That song? The way that you talk, the way that you walk. I, I, I heard it very early in the beef. But you've been seeing all these videos of the parties, you can't give me one line? No, I definitely cannot give you one line. Fuck. I don't listen to that song no more. <laughs> Actually. It's just faded with the fucking wind now. That's how everything goes, dude. Yeah. It just comes and goes. But the thing is, it's like uh, a colleague of mine said this right Uh so back in the days what we now call boomers people open up their newspaper okay boomer (laughs) (laughs) people open up their newspaper and they read right they read they look at a couple pictures a couple ads all this stuff and and that has long and faded away as well but now we have our modern day newspaper Twitter. With a couple extras, right? Which uh-huh. is Instagram, Twitter, social media to just fucking say it, right? Social media in a way is like our modern day newspaper. It's just got a couple little add-ons, you know? Yeah. It's a DLC pack. It's a DLC. You got the DLC pack. But what can you even trust anymore? Yeah, that's what's crazy too. That's what's crazy too. Especially with the whole deep fakes and AI and everything. Everything. Scary? Question, did you see that video of uh, Biden shitting his, shitting his pants? Was that real? <laughs> I fucking hope so. Was so that real? funny. I saw, like, <laughs> some guy said, I got five kids. I know exactly what this fucker's doing. 
Oh, oh. Oh, is that what the whole dancing move that he's been doing? No, he was just standing still and he was, makes like a face, like a shocked face, and then uh, his wife goes, like, gags. So they think he shit himself. Man, that ain't nothing new to him. <laughs> they think he shitted himself. That ain't nothing new to him. Oh, it's What they getting hilarious. so surprised for? Huh? That was hilarious. Man's been himself forever. Oh, that was so funny. Fucking guy. Yeah, but you don't know what to believe anymore with the media. That's why... You just gotta fucking... You just gotta do your own research, I guess. I feel you. Totally feel you. It gets a little crazy, man. You know what we need? TikTok? TikTok University? No, actually. No. I was gonna say aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. That was the first thing that came to mind. We need aliens. <laughs> you think you... Well, technically, we got them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, but I, I don't know. For some reason, that was the first thing that came to mind. And I feel like... They can, maybe they're the missing link. Shout out missing link. New song, fire. <laughs> New two songs, fire. fire. For real, for real. With great no pun intended, but shout out missing may, link. Maybe they're the missing link. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just feel like everyone's just getting to hardcore and just shut the fuck up. The, there you go. That's what we, dude. I posted that shit about the hardcore scene being small. Guess these TikTok motherfuckers did not like it. What do you mean? They're like. I don't know what scene you're talking about. Every scene that I see is all full of TikTokers, TikTok kids. And then I was like, I don't know where you're from, but not, not from out here. Not yeah. from like that whack ass scene, boy. I told him I was like, I was like, yeah, maybe that like a uh, Kublai Khan knocked loose, but not no local shows. He was like, he was like, oh, well, I'm from fucking Northeast. Like it's all TikTok kids up here. And I was like, you're a fucking liar. No, he probably hasn't found the right Crowd. fucking show. Because, like, our mm-hmm. local scene's not like that. No, and, I mean, some I'm sure some I'm, local scenes totally aren't, aren't as big as others, you know? But, yeah. But, I mean, but, he, should try and, he should try and build it. He should try and help it grow, you know? But I would say, like, hardcore as a whole is very small compared to, like, metal and shit like that, you oh, know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, 100%. Like, seeing, like, indie rock is kind of fucking popping, you know? Well, because it's kept, it's, it's kept the roots of DIY from punk. You know, because punk was a very DIY, make your own jackets, make your own pants, all that shit. Yeah. You know, throw your own shows. And they adapted that shit, you know? <laughs> and so I feel like um, that comes to play with it as well. And it, because it doesn't really get out there as much as other big pop stars and but it's like, rap stars and shit. This was so cool. Like, the homie went to see Knock Loose, right? And he told me. Bro, my brother stood right there at the end of the pit and just held his hands up, recording it. I want to see the video. He hasn't sent it to me the yet. The whole pit. Well, uh, he made a wall of death. Ryan Gears. Oh, that's death. That's insane. And he said, I don't care. From here to the back, open it up. Open it. And when the beat drops, you fucking attack each other. Bro, fucking everyone spread. There's like two people in the middle. Everyone just rushed. And you know how I feel about strobe lights. Danger. Danger. <laughs> Danger. Fuck that. That was a giant red flag. Biggest red flag ever. Why are we doing strobe lights in a mosh pit? This is not no push pit shit. Or well, maybe at an off blue show now, but I'm saying like at a hardcore show, death. When we had the strobe lights at the Haven and those two big dudes started attacking us, that was scary. <laughs> Yeah, personally, not a big fan of the strobe lights either. I didn't see them until the last second. I ducked, thank God. Keep the lights on, in my opinion. Keep the lights very dim. I think keep the lights all the way on. Some people don't like Fuck it. it. You know? You know people hate that shit. I don't know why. What's wrong with that? I don't know. I like to see people's cool shirts and shoes <laughs> and shit. You know? I love it. We got a big-ass truck this weekend. Dollar Zoom 97. Worth a R.I.P. You and I, Adjudicator. Oh, yeah. Yes, those two. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, no gimmick had to drop. Sad, very I sad. Did, I saw you commented on it. Very sad. <laughs> Why'd they drop? Um, bassist and uh, guitar, I think, had to work. So, I understand. Just call off. Fully understand. You know, hopefully someday. <laughs> it'll be like that sometimes. You were excited for him, too. Yes, dude. I was so excited for him. I really was. Is it Adjudicator from, like, out east somewhere? Honestly, I haven't checked him out, really. I think they're from out east. But but every band on that bill was fire, you know? And Bring Your Roses, R.I.P. Yeah, you're going to bring flowers. I'm 100% bringing flowers. Yeah, me too. You know? It's crazy, too, because Vamakara, 
also announced. Just announced Donzo's. It's a, time is almost over. They're, they're fire too. Where are they from? That's unfortunate. L.A. Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, one of the first, one of the first big, one of the first bigger shows I went to was uh, Bob Car at the Midnight Hour. That's awesome. So what was it? It was a uh, Bob Car record release, No Roses on My Grave. And it was a dead body, this madre. They had like uh, nobody there. It was barely anybody anti. It was sick. It was actually really sick. I uh very scary too. Very kinda scary. taking like inspiration from uh X Gabe X, hardcore game. Um, shout out Darsum. Shout out Gabe um, I don't know to say his not to say his last name, but he like he'll post, Oh, where were you at this day? And he posts like his ticket that he was there. Oh, yeah. I'll and that means he kept it and, like, photo scanned it. Yeah. You know, to really keep it. So, like, every ticket I get, I add it to my Google Drive, and I put, like, the headliner with the date. So I got, like, six tickets right now in there. Sick. Sick. I think I want to make it just a hardcore folder. I think that would be more uh, organized. But I thought that was... I think it's a cool thing to do, because it has my ticket on there, which are not as cool as, like, an actual ticket. A physical ticket, Obviously. Yeah, I know. Obviously. My opinion. But... Still pretty sick. Ooh, yeah. what I should do is find the tickets and get the flyers and attach it to one drive. That'd be sick. So scanning the scanning the flyers in? Yeah. Because you can get physical copies of the flyers totally. and print them out and everything as well. Really? Yeah, some small oh, game ones. Does. I know yeah. it does. But I'm saying like I know on Instagram I just take a screen, uh, screenshot, add it to the add it to the the date. I think that'd be dope. That would be sick. Just kind of like look back on it in like 10 years, but oh shit, dude, I totally forgot about these guys. Are you one to place a lot of meaning and the small things like that? Like on photos and shit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, these, no. And when I say small, I'm not trying to like no, no, no. degrade them or nothing, you know? No, like, uh, I just think it'd be cool to look back on like, oh shit, dude, I was, damn, I forgot about fucking 97 minutes 10 years from now, you know? Huh. Like, fuck, those guys were sick. Damn, because. You know? Yeah, I, 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 I'm not really one to do that. Uh-huh. I'm not really one to do that much. You're but more I of in ha- the moment type of guy. I have met somebody that is crazy, crazy like that. Like, okay. puts so much emotion into like small saves, little things. Saves every single box of Big Macs that he's ever had? Sing, well, not every single box of Big Macs, but we'll find something on a case of a Big Mac to save. Oh, you shit, for I mean? real? Yes. Wait, like... like- like, I was just fucking around. I've seen that before. Yes, seriously. Holy fuck. Like, serious. Like, tiny little things put so much weight on it, so much emotion into that oh little thing. Oh, my God. He's like, yeah, I had a Big Mac on uh, 9-11, 2001. You know? <laughs> and I'm, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but it's, it's just... It's a 9-11 joke. It's, it's, uh... Flew right over your head. It's Did it go through the towers, that one, huh? No. Okay. Flew right over my head. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that was another 9-11 joke. Okay, continue. <laughs> I'll just I'll meet you uh, at the portal. <laughs> don't be yeah, I'll be, meet you at the portal, fuck at 6 o'clock. Because I said, <laughs> he writes the date on it, he's like, yeah, I had a Big Mac on 9-11-2001. Like, 9-11 joke. The date had a lot of meaning to him. And save that, save that And little. then I said, it flew right over your head, not into the towers, huh? That's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. But, um, oh, yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. I know, I'm fucking hilarious, dude. I'm fucking... <laughs> oh, God. Okay, continue. I'm, I'm confused. I, I'm lost. Okay, why does he save the Big Mac shit? No, just... In, in every big event or every outing uh-huh. that this person goes to, they will find something to put. In a scrapbook. Well, not in the scrapbook necessarily. I'm, I'm sure they're all just compiled in one area, but... Um, I, I feel like if you're really saving something from every single, like, kind of either small, big event, any event, I feel like it's scrapbooked or some dated, at least. Well, to what I know, no. it's definitely not. Do I know this person? Uh, relatively. But, um, yeah, I just, I was never one to do that. Can we name drop them? No. And, and bleep it? No. What? We can't oh, bleep it? Oh, bleep it? Totally. It's... <laughs> Did that shit. Oh, shit. So she, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was always telling them, I was always telling them, uh-huh. like, hey, just why do you keep all this shit? It's just uh-huh. unnecessary. Uh-huh. You don't need it. Uh-huh. Right? And then they always place so much, uh, love, love, on weight. memory. Yes, memory. Kind of like how I did with photos. But photos, I understand a bit more. You know what I mean? You actually see what's going on. Well, yeah. 
But them are literally fucking. But f- physically. They, but they were physically there. So then you look at it. It's like oh shit, memory, photographic, mm-hmm. little exactly. highlight reel in, into their brain. Yes, but I could totally understand it. You know, I would just be more organized about it. Me personally, if I was like that. Wait, you understand the little? Yes, sir. The piece of everything. Yes, sir. Okay, see. So it's I'm just like a photo. End. It's just like a photo, like this right here. I don't remember what to this. But that's, I got his bobblehead this night. Okay, but a, a you know? souvenir cup is called a souvenir cup. <laughs> all right? But it's like the same thing with them keeping a little piece. It's like a souvenir piece. Okay, yes. Totally. I will agree with you on that. It is absolutely a souvenir piece. Uh-huh. I could totally see how they ha- they look at it. Oh, shit, I remember that day. Yeah, I, I can as well. It's just not what I do, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't think you do anything with any memories ever. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I talk about the photo thing. Like, I've never thought about that. The scrapbook thing is out of... Like, how, how do you savor a memory? Okay, so... And, you know, that's the thing that I've been placing a little more emphasis on, actually. Like, mm-hmm. I want to take videos of more shows so I can look back on them later. Oh, my God. You know? Oh, my God. Because that's... Dude, what- I, just lo- I just realized that... Not even just that, I lost all the videos of every show I've ever been to. On my camera. On my... On your phone. I'm just sad again. Continue. I noticed that I never did that. Uh-huh. And I wanted to start doing it a little more, at least once. One set of a, every show. A whole set? Or just like a, cl- no, a quick few videos? One, yeah, well, like a quick clip. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got a sick clip of a guy crawling on the floor at the show we went to on Saturday. Fucking awesome. That punk, that punk rock looking dude with the orange shirt. Oh, yes. 100%. I remember him. I yeah. remember him. Man, they went crazy. This is a small place there. Dude, Very small place there. When Lacuna kept telling him to scoot in, and I was like, dude, it's already two and a half feet. Like, how much more can they scoot in, brother? Like, we're going to smell your breath later, brother. <laughs> hey, Mero was sick. Yeah, those guys were badass. Did ass. you follow them? That was a big old dude. I ended up following them. I think I they did. They were all big old dudes. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, they were sick. I'm stoked to see them. They're going to play the 28th, I believe it is. It's, it's a Sunday, unfortunately, but it's a dope show. Ooh, Ruin. Ooh. Ruin Vogue. I'm Man, excited. I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. Uh, how you're trying I had to something place, on the tip of my you're, fucking You're trying tongue. to place more memories on your in your life. You're trying to put emphasis on it. Well, not, not even... Well, I'm just really trying to... Hmm... It was really just for shows. Like, I just wanted to take more videos of shows so I could look back on them later. What about, like, like you go out on a picnic or something, and you're mm-hmm. like... Like, like you go to the park, right? And solo picnic? Huh? We doing a solo picnic? Huh? Is can that, you just, like, let me have this? Is that what we doing right here? Can you just let me have this? Huh? Just let me have Which this. Which is fine. Nothing wrong with the solo picnic. Okay. Well, okay. Nothing wrong with the solo picnic. Let's just say this is a fantasy, right? And me and you are dating. Okay. This is a fantasy. And we're happy together. We're Maybe it's the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> we're happy, right? It's the real deal. And you're like, hey, I want to go to the park. I just want to relax. And you lay a blanket out and you have food. And then we're just doing our favorite fucking thing. Me and you are just sitting there. And the picnic basket's open. And we have our <laughs> we, we have our food there. We got Kill Tony on the screen. <laughs> and it's my phone. What kind of food? Chick-fil-A. Okay, it wasn't my first choice, but I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> and we're sitting there, and we, we, we have my phone up, and I'm just sitting there, and like, I'm, a, I'm a little bit away from you, and I'm just so happy. Just like, I have the biggest smile on my face, and I'm watching Kill Tony, and you just take a quick picture. Wouldn't you hold some type of value to that? Like, this is a great moment right here. And then there's a picture, and it's your loved one just so happy to be there with you to watch Kill Tony at a fucking park on a blanket. And then you're a little sad one day, and you just... Wow, that's fucking awesome. That's... Like, that's fucking awesome. See, That's I've, so sick. I have never done that. That's the thing. I've never, ever in my life done that. Did I paint a good picture in your head? That was a really good picture. So did you picture me with massive tits? Or just how I am now? Or you didn't picture me at I all? I didn't picture you. I knew it! I, I fucking knew it! <laughs> I didn't picture you at all. Oh, I didn't funny. picture you at all. I love you. No, but seriously, that you painted a great picture in my head. Uh-huh. But, um, man, I lost what I was going to say, <laughs> dude. Shoot, I'm at a loss for fucking words. I knew he didn't picture me as a fucking um, love <laughs> <laughs> My back's been hurting fixing my posture, dude. Fuck. 
<laughs> oh my god. Every three seconds, motherfuckers go, Postura. You know? But, uh, uh man. Oh. I'm, I'm derailed. Where, where were we? I'm derailed. Uh, I just said, like, wouldn't that be a great memory to go look back on when you're, like, feeling down, you know? I, but I feel like I do that more in my head than actually going back in my phone and fucking doing that myself. Well, honestly, I feel like you forget a lot of fucking shit. Well, yeah, totally. So. Totally forget a lot like of shit. I feel like it would help you a lot. But I feel like if if the feeling is there with it, you know, when, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, baby. I know. But we're, everyone's different, though. Yeah, everyone's totally different. You're free to do whatever the fuck you want to do, you know? I'm still sad that I lost all those pictures. Like, legit. Because you put a lot of weight on them, you know what I'm I saying? I did. I really did. And me, it was actually crazy that you say that because recently I've been going through everything. Fucking delete, 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 well, delete, I mean, delete. Everything. I... I I do do that, but it's not for everything. Like I was like, eh, random screenshots, shit like that. And believe me, I do the same bullshit too. I keep some pictures. Uh huh. I'm not saying it's bullshit. I'm sorry, but I <laughs> <laughs> I keep some pictures because I think I'm placing like weight on them. Uh huh. But I'm never gonna go back and look at them. It's just like the the picture you take of the board at school. Oh, I'll look back at this later. Uh huh. You never do. There are times though, which like pisses like. This is not even a photo. This happened at work. Uh, Daniel, he had cut me a few extra brackets. He was like, just in case you need them. I had them there for over a month, and I was like, this order, this is the second time I've ever seen this order even being here. I'm never gonna use this again. So after that, after a whole month, I threw it away. Legit, the next day, another one of those orders came in. I was like, are you fucking shit my dick right now? I just threw these away yesterday. And shit like that happens with me with photos, too. But like, oh, I don't need that shit anymore, and I deleted it. And I'm like, oh, fuck, dude, I need to go back and get that. And it, then, because I delete, and then delete my deleted. Ah, uh-huh. so, so... I you, double delete. You throw it in the trash, and then and empty permanent. the trash can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's very cleanly in this Because I don't want anyone to see, like, my fucking two entry, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get it out of there. Well, I mean, I really think it's still in the cloud somewhere. Oh, to- I mean... If somebody if wanted someone at to Google it, wants it, go ahead, but... If, if somebody really wanted to get it, they'll get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you really wanted to get it, they will get it. Totally. And how is it, you know, I've always thought about, like, you know those developers, the media, the camera photo developers? You send in a naughty, a naughty roll of film. Oh, yeah. To get your shit developed. Uh-huh. They're going to see all that, right? Yeah, totally. And that, that, like... That's, that's the price you're willing to pay. Oh, so that's... You can send those in? Totally. They will totally accept those? Totally. I didn't know that. I don't know. Maybe they got like some rules or something against it. Do you, have, do you have something that I don't know about? Do you have one of those? Oh, no. No, I, no, I really don't. I do want to. But that's just something I've always wondered. I want a Polaroid camera. Those are badass. I, I did have an old one, but who knows what's up with it. It's got some little fucking kinks and things here and there. It's not perfect. But it is older than me, I believe. No shit. I think so. I don't know. Just fucking guessing here. Guesstimating. What does Gaga know about cameras? Yeah. <laughs> the fuck she know? Literally. I like some of the Gaga songs, but what the fuck she know about cameras? <laughs> hey, shout out to Kanye, bro. He hasn't been on the news in months. What have you heard about Kanye in months? He's laying low right now. He's out doing his dad shit. Facts. Hey, I, did you see the Tom Brady roast? I didn't. I heard lots about it, though. What'd you hear about it? I heard really good reviews as far as the comedy goes. Right? Great reviews. Heard it was hilarious. Here and there. But here, here and there was perfect. Perfect way to describe it. But the the as far as um, Kim K, I heard she got booed. What, so, what's up with that? So, two bears just dropped their episode about the thing today or Monday, and they explained it perfectly. It was not because they said usually when they go to like a comedy show and a bunch of comedians walk out, they get standing ovation when they walk out. No one. Very little clapping, like, oh, I don't know who they are. Mm-hmm. When the football players came out, the crowd erupted. So they said that they think that this was a football crowd here for Tom Brady as Patriot fans, as Tom Brady fans, not comedians. Uh, not comedian fans. Fans, exactly. Very, very little. Okay? So when Kim K walked out, she's like the Taylor Swift kind of, you know? Just fucking boo her. Oh. And they, she did do kind of good. I'm not going to lie. But what I did not like about this was um, 
No one wrote their own jokes on the football side, I would say. Nobody. You don't you, you really don't think any of them did or you know for sure? Oh, you know for sure. Oh, really? Then Tom Brady jumped out of the clock. Oh, go back. I didn't <laughs> read it fast enough. What the fuck? Bro, so many of them were like monotone. It's because they're literally reading a teleprompter. And the thing was uh, that all the comedians had their jokes on the teleprompter too, but you could tell that they weren't reading them because they were looking at Tom Brady. But like Kim K was like this. Facing like this, reading the teleprompter. So it, they, they sounded monotone, the, and, the football players. Well, I mean, obviously the comedians, these, these are professionals, right? These guys, this is literally their day-to-day. Like, this is the craft that they're fucking working on. And, I mean, but still, I'm not, I'm not letting those fucking football players and celebrities slide. Nope. They're fucking slacking. If you're, those if are your you're, homies. If you're an entertainer, right, which is what football stars are, and Kim K as well with their fucking show and shit. Uh-huh. Put some fucking effort into entertaining. Well, Nikki Glacier killed. Standing ovation, and she was the first of the night. Everyone had to follow that. A literal two-minute standing ovation from everyone in like a 30,000-person building. I want to see this now. Dude, it was so fucking funny. So fucking funny. It was awesome. And Tony, uh, Tony uh, Hinchcliffe also did great. Because the clips that I did hear of the of the roast was Nikki Glaser. Oh yeah, it her set was amazing. Everyone did good, I would say. But what Two Bear said, the people that weren't comedians, they didn't understand how because they said the jokes were funny on the teleprompter. They would skip over lines, you know. They wouldn't read the full joke, and they said they don't realize how much emphasis. Uh, a word could have if they skip a word it makes it ruins the joke or a tone or a speed yeah and they had rehearsals and shit yeah so they were just like skipping over and then they would add their own stuff in yeah it was a you could tell when someone fucked up because it's like whenever you i mean you got homies and shit right and uh if you you think your homie is funny and yeah he can very well be funny but comedian funny is just completely different I think, at least. I mean, I'm not saying that all their jokes were bad, but, like, some of them just weren't that good. And uh, I don't know if you know who Drew Bledsoe is. Do you know who that is? Drew Bledsoe. What do you know about Tom Brady, like, how he got started in the NFL? I know nothing. Last pick of the NFL when he got drafted that year. Early on in the season, Drew Bledsoe got absolutely destroyed to where he was in the hospital for five days. And in those five days, Tom Brady did so fucking good, they made him starter. After they just paid Drew Bledsoe a max contract. That's how good he was. So this is kind of like a Blue Mountain State situation. I'm not sure what you're talking about. But sure. Basically, the star quarterback of the Patriots got injured after getting a max contract. And Brady stepped in and took over and ran house after that. So people always thought that they hated each other. And he made that his house. Yep. My house. There was no hate, but that guy was funny as fuck, too. Drew Bledsoe? Yeah. That was funny as fuck. And he was good as well? Maybe. Savage? I wouldn't say he was a savage like Tom Brady. He was good. He, well, he, he earned a max contract, so that's pretty fucking good. At whatever, like in the early thousands, you know? So he's doing fine. And most of the shit out of Tom Brady was awesome. Tom Brady made an I Live a Joke. Did he? Yeah. But his kid, he's not doing those no more. What? How do you feel about that? What? He said he would never do a roast again. Oh, totally. Because of the way it affected his kids and everything. To- like, totally reasonable. I feel like you're getting bullied. Yep. Uh, it's because they, everyone had jokes to say about his ex, like oh she was cheating with a fucking uh, jujitsu guy and you oh, couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, <laughs> he's like imagine like you couldn't do anything about it. He just like you know choke you out or like, beat your ass. That's what they would all say. Some of these kids gotta get smacked, boy. Yeah, but uh, Nikki Glaser, fucking awesome. That was so funny. It sucks that she went first. You know, or or, because <laughs> I mean, I mean compared to the comedians that I know were on the panel. It was great for her that she went first because she just fucking hit the homer out of the park. Oh, the first first one? She did better than every comedian there. Yeah, so, I mean, because she's pretty big time herself, but I feel like that just fucking... That was her Ripped ro- it, yep. yep. That was her rocket up into the fucking sky. Yeah. So, Tony killed it too. And people were really happy for him because, you know, Tony's big in the comedy scene, but Tom Brady's like world big oh yeah so for people to see him and like they were they did a kill tony segment basically 
and oh, he's killed Tony, and then he even did the introductions, like, and you know when you hear the kitten, and they did the, he's like, your time's up, and then they started roasting the shit out of Tom Brady. Well, they they let Dana White do the 60 seconds. That's what had happened. Oh, that's sick. And then Tony went and did his, his set. So, would you say Tom Brady is kind of like in the level of fame as a Lionel Messi? 100%. Really? 100%. Because I know football's Just, not worldwide. I mean... American football, at least. Like, soccer is on a completely different level. So, like, Tom Brady's up there, but Messi and Ronaldo and them are on a completely another level. Like, I wonder who has more followers. Oh, man. Or totally Messi, but... Like, yeah. Do you think Messi or Ronaldo have more followers? I think... Honestly, Messi. I think Messi. You think so? Yeah. You want to check? You want to check? And who's? I, I mean, check Brady while you're at it. I would have to consider who's off, who's on it more often. You know what I mean? Uh, probably Ronaldo. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Messi. Wow, five hundred and two million Holy followers. Holy shit! Okay, now search Ronaldo. <laughs> Fuck. So it's a CT, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Holy fuck balls, 629 million. I bet you Tom Brady doesn't even have over 100 million. Make your guess right now. Lock Seven, it in. 70, 74, 74 million. 74 million? Yeah. I feel like that's a big guess. 14.9 million. Holy fuck. Not even on the same guess. realm. Not no even on the same realm. Yeah, no way. Yeah, I guess not. 14 no. million is a fuck ton of people, though. Oh, 100%. Dude, 14, you got $14 million? Shit, I rule the world. $14 million, goddamn. <laughs> Fucking the world's mine. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a good roast. I just didn't like how they were so blatant about reading off the the teleprompter. How they, how they put no effort into their entertaining. Pretty much. You know that sucks. It's not to say that they weren't funny. I'm not saying that it just kind of felt not real to me because I noticed it on the Kim K one and I was like, yo, she's fucking reading off the teleprompter. It felt more like a like a show host type of thing. And we'll be right back. Yep. After this ad. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was it was good. It was good. Tom Brady took it like a man. Took it like a man. Kevin Hart was fucking hilarious too. Have there? Uh, okay, so I haven't really watched any of those roasts. Are, you never you, watched any roast? No, I don't. No, I they're don't. Awesome. Never watched them. Legendary. But do you think? Do you think there are people who get legit butt hurt? I I would assume so. No, when they when they put it on themselves and they're getting butt hurt at these jokes that they're throwing. Like Michael Scott in the office. Remind me. Michael Scott threw a roast about himself, and he got extremely butthurt, and he, like, left early and everything. That's Michael Scott-esque <laughs> right there. That's that's exactly him. I feel like there could be, but they usually do it to comedians, so they understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they didn't want to Justin Bieber. That was funny. But, yeah. Yeah, maybe I should look into him a little more. I should watch some... The some, Comedy Central Roast. Yeah, I should watch some roasts. I definitely should watch that Tom Brady one for sure. It's on, it's on Netflix. It's like 2 hours and 45 minutes. It's fucking a long one. You know what I've been watching lately? Blue Bound State. Oh, that's why you said that shit. I love that show. That show is goaded, no pun intended. Are they naked in there a lot? Is that is that, that one where they're naked all the time? No, no. Not all the time. But it's just, it's just a stupid show. You know, it's a... Uh, it's this real D1 elite college football program, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and they're just very crazy, very dysfunctional, you know what I mean? Very college party school okay. type of people, uh-huh. and they go crazy. Just They just get into some crazy shit. It's hilarious. It's just stupid. Oh, fucking, it's a comedy show. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally... Yes. It is amazing. You got the flicks again? I got the flicks again. The Broke Boy Flicks. I got the Broke Boy Flicks. Um, ads. Worth Six, it. It's worth it. Six ninety nine. Worth it. You know how like your attention span like fades away. That's your time to go on Instagram real quick. Doom scroll and oh, it's back. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Actually, huh. get found, that itch in. Found that silver lining right there. That's the quick um, fix. This guy at work like trying to put me on like animes and shit. Put me on this one called Drifter. Sounds badass. Is that a drive? Is that driving? What? The- Tokyo no. drifting? No, it's it's like um, this higher beings got political, not political, but like historic people, like real actual people. Neanderthals. Kind of, like in the samurai ages type people like that. Like oh, this this guy from this clan, this guy from this clan, and they said, hey, we need help beating these guys, and we want your tactics and shit. And that's what the show's about. It sounded badass, samurais and shit, but they're fighting some fucking elves. I don't. It just looked badass. This is a different realm. Pretty much. You think that you think realms exist? No. 
I think like different worlds exist with planets and shit. Different worlds? Like different planets? Well, obviously they exist, but I mean like life on them, yeah. But have you ever seen that Rick and Morty episode? It's like every Rick and Morty episode. They go to fucking different yeah. realms and shit like that. Uh-huh. Those are kind of like planets in a way, right? Totally. Like, you mean like when he travels to like a different realm and he's like, oh yeah, these people work solely to power my ship. And these people work for them to power their fucking box. And these people work for them to power their box. But it's just it gets tinier and tinier. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Like the quantum realm. So, you know. Oh, we're getting maybe, way maybe too deep. I'm, we're too stupid I'm, for this. Maybe I'm digging a little too deep into it. But that's some predictive programming. What if this is all real? This is all and being, they're, they're just showing us a glimpse. This is all being sprinkled right in front of our fucking faces. Hidden in plain sight. They're telling us it's real. But we're just seeing it as stupid, like as Lieutenant funny. Bullock says, like she eats children and shit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Plain sight. Reading baby scrotums. Yes. God. Terrible. Are you ready? We still got more to talk about. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. All right, guys, follow us on. Uh, you, you plug it this time. You plug it. Follow us on Daddy's Ninja Pod on Instagram. I can't take a shit. <coughs> and really, that's it. Episode one one one. You got yeah. any wishes? Happy life. Happy life, baby. Yeah. All right, peace. All right.